What's up, everybody? It's your boy, World Games 215 underscore in the building. And today I am here with One Piece chapter 999. The title of the chapter is The Saki I Brew While Waiting for You. On the cover page, we have Weekly Shonen Jump with all the up and coming anime. That's where we left off. We got the, um, Basically, all the Flying Six revealed their Zoan form. Not all, well, all of the Flying Six revealed their Zoan forms, and we kind of got the matchups of who's going to face who, and um, so that like that happened, and then we had the revelation that um, I forgot who it was, Brooke, and I, I forgot who the other people were. They're going to protect Chopper while he makes the antidote and delivers it, and um, administer it. I'm sorry, and um. Yamato knows Ace. So Ace wasn't just hanging out with Tama while he was on Wano. So we're going to dive on into this chapter. But before that, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you enjoy the content. And let's dive on in. So we're getting a flashback. Dipping into past memories. Ace, stop it. Let's go back. Huff, Huff. Who are you? Identify yourself. Huff, Huff. You go first. I'm Ace. I've come for Kaido's head. And he punches um, Yamato. Father and his men have set out on an expedition. None of the higher ranks are here at the moment. Father? Says Ace. So this is Yamato speaking to Ace. He says, Father? Huh? Kaido's daughter? She's like, <laughs> Even if it is not my responsibility to defend this island, with as much destruction you've caused enough is enough. Huh? She's holding on to the um her her mace. Ace, you're good now, right? Well, go on ahead to the main uh, mainland. We have to return all these abducted kids back to their families. Thank you, thank you all so much. Okay, so Ace, I guess he rescued a bunch of kids who were abducted and was taking them back to Wano. I can't really tell who that is right there. I refuse to believe that someone as strong as you isn't even a captain. Let's settle this. I'm Yamato. I've been bored out of my mind, so I'll fight you if you want. Take this. Hiya, boy, and they clash. And then Yamato, we don't get to choose our fathers. Ha! Your hands being bound are one thing, but even though you hate your father so much... Why have you allowed your heart to be bound as well? What did you say? Says Yamato. Whoa. Young Master Yamato, you must say. That's the symbol of Lord Kaido's power. I too want to go out to, to see and have adventures. Just like Odin. I want to live freely. So, what this is telling me right now, right? Yamato is going to find out that Luffy is Ace's brother. Yamato is going to join the Straw Hats. Like, that's the... Like, Yamato is joining the Straw Hats. I believe. I thought it was Carrot. It might be Yamato. Um, because Yamato's dream is to go on a voyage like Odin. Whose crew was Odin's on? He was on Whitebeard's crew. Whose crew was he on after that? He was on Roger's crew. Who do you think has the best chance of becoming a pirate king? Luffy. So, who do you think Yamato will go with? Luffy. So, uh, Yamato is joining the Shaw Hats. I feel like it's like you could kind of tell by the way the arc's been going, but Yamato is joining the Shaw Hats. And he's, he says, he, he, he. That's more like it. Huh? So Ace destroys the statue. Wa ha ha ha. Da ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. So they're laughing. It's unfortunate you're so strong and we get along so well. Says Ace. If only I could get these off then someday surely. I will also go out to sea. Hey, tell me. How is it outside Wano? A lot of youngsters have started setting out to sea, right? Youngsters, 
Ah, yes. There's this guy called Kevin something. He's all the rave right now. I'm thinking about maybe Ke Kevin-dish? Maybe? Maybe Kevin-dish? None compared to me, but I've heard that there are some dangerous guys wreaking havoc in each of the blues recently. Kid in the south, Law in the north, and Beige in the west. That said, the most formidable of them all will set out to see in a few years. My little brother. He's sure to stir up a storm. How many times are you going to tell me about your brother? Okay, so this is interesting because that means that Kid, Law, and beige, which I'm kind of surprised that he's being mentioned here because if you really think about the worst trio, I mean, not the worst trio, the uh, worst generation, you automatically think of Luffy, Kid, Luffy, Kid, Law, Zoro, Killer, Apu. Those are the top, I mean, not Apu, um, a Rouge, I'm sorry, a Rouge. Those are the six that, six that I automatically think of. And then Drake, and then Apu, and then Bonnie. Like, and I feel like. Bonnie is going to play an important part into the story. I don't know how, but she's going to play an important part. She's one of my favorite characters from the worst generation only because she's shrouded in mystery. It doesn't have to be with strength. I feel like she plays an important part into the story. Then you have um, Arouge. He's shrouded in mystery too. We can kind of guess that he's definitely from Sky Island. So, um, And I wonder how strong he is. Like, he took down the Sweet Commander. Um, and where like others fail, he did, and then Luffy did the same thing. Drake is strong, but he's part of Sword, that hidden um, group within the Marines. So I don't really, cause I mean, even though he's part of the Word Generation, I don't consider him a pirate. And um, Law, Luffy, Kid, Zoro, Killer, like Killer and Law being vice captains and being part of the Word Generation is a feat in itself. So. To see Beige, because I feel like Beige is one of the weaker ones. He has an ultimate defense, but I feel like he's weak. And um, um, so to hear him getting hyped is kind of kind of decent. As many okay, so she says, "How many times are you going to tell me about your brother?" He says, "As many times as I want." Quit complaining and listen. Ow, ow. <laughs> to be honest, I was the first one to damage this. But then A said, until I come back, this will serve as my warning to Kaido. Father was very angry about, about it. But in the end, he never met Ace. Okay, so when Ace went to Wano, he never met Kaido because Kaido wasn't there. So, um, it's just so funny. Like, first Tama, now Ace. And, it's, and I wonder if Yamato knows Ace is dead. Because, because Wano is its own place. They don't get news from the outside. So now I'm really wondering if um, Tama is... I mean, not Tama. If, if Yamato knows that Ace is dead. So, this is Momo talking. So, there was a pirate who tried to save Wano. Huh? Father? Yeah. Kaido was my father. He says, what? <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you. But I really despise that man. Remember I told you that I'm Odin, didn't I? You're not making any sense. <laughs> so <laughs> Momo and uh, Shinobu have <laughs> like freaked out. Well, I understood most of what you said. Stop. Okay, it says, we express our gratitude to you for treating our wounds. Stop being so formal and get back here already. <laughs> so they've definitely like moved all the way away. But still... Why tell us about this man now? He died two years ago. Is that so? Ace was... Yes. All this while I believed Ace will return and have been training to become a Koinichi ever since, but even knowing that Big Bro Luffy was so insensitive about it. Ah, sorry about that. That's just how Luffy is. But you know, Tama, that incident was really painful for Luffy too. Okay, so Nami's talking to uh, Tama. And she's like, huh? Okay, so Nami's going to tell Tama about Luffy and um, 
about Luffy and Ace's relationship. Because if you remember, in the beginning of Wano, Thomas says she was waiting for um Law. I mean, Thomas says she was waiting for Ace, and and Luffy just outright point blank period was like, he's dead. He died like two years ago, and Tama got upset. But Luffy never explained his relationship with Ace. He kind of took the mantle of protecting Tama for Ace, basically. Inside the dome, live floor. So there's still commotion going on. Stop, Marco. Why are you letting him run around? Why are you letting him run circles around you? But he just saved us, right? Would you rather get killed by Master Queen instead? Get him. Right. Now I have to go reason. Now I have no reason to go after Kaido directly. Nico Robin, Bone Man, run up the castle. Understood. Glad to take you up on that. Okay, so Brooke is out and Robin is out. We've got him. Marco the Phoenix. What? Are you ready? I'm counting on you. So uh, Marco is talking to Zoro. He turns on his to his Phoenix mode. Whoa, whoosh. You fools. He's taking one of the straw hats with him. Now that's what I'm talking about, says Zoro. I'm begging you, Pops. And I'm telling you. No, you fool. Ace, I'm sure I've told you this many times. So this is Marco having a flashback. About who it was that previously held the seat of the second division commander, which you hold now. And why it had been retired for so long. We only found out about Lord Odin's death several years after the incident had happened. We've thought about marching into Wano's country countless times, however. Think about the countless amounts of casualties it would cause if we did that. Then let me go by myself, says Ace. I made a promise. A man that a man that even Kazuki Odin couldn't take down. You think you can beat him? Don't be so full of yourself, Ace. So he threw a punch and Ace dodged it. Oh no, he got did he get hit by it? This panel looks like he dodged it. <laughs> Z ha ha ha. Oh, so we got Blackbeard. Because, you know, he was on Whitebeard's crew, too. And he killed Thatch. And then that's how Ace went after him. And then that's how Ace fought Blackbeard. Um, Ace definitely should have not gotten so emotional and listened to Whitebeard. But, hey, he went after him. He almost won. Blackbeard whooped Ace's ass. And... I'm not going to say whooped his ass, but they fought. Um, Blackbeard captured Ace, sent him to the world government. The execution started. The Paramount War happened. Ace got away. Um, Akainu baited Ace. Ace took the bait. Ace got killed. Luffy lost it. Uh, <laughs> Blackbeard appeared. They killed Whitebeard. Took his devil fruit. <sighs> a lot happened. <laughs> Captain Ace, you really just want to take down a big shot, don't you? Shut up, Teach. Ace isn't doing this just to acquire fame. Damn it. If I don't get stronger, I won't be able to fulfill my promise. That just goes to show how heavy the cross you are carrying is. Ace... If Pop ever gives the go-ahead, make sure you take me along with you. This is Izo. Same here. We're counting on you. If you guys come along, I think we could beat him now. Huh? Really? Just how naive are you? <laughs> so uh, that's the end of his, his flashback. Marco. Uh-oh. You, you were... I'm sorry. You're bonkers if you think you can get through here easily by now the samurai are probably all dead all-star queen dragon dragon fruit ancient zone model brachiosaurus even though we, I, we already knew what he was because we've seen it in um in udon all that's left is to now all that's left is i'm sorry oh, I, i'm like damn i can't read <laughs> all that's left now is to kill kazuki odin odin's son and the battle will be over. All-Star King, Dragon Dragon Fruit, 
ancient Zoan bottle, Petrodon. If you really think that, then you're in for a mean surprise. Right now, you guys are facing off against the new generation. Such a trap, you little bastard. And he looks at him side eye. What? Big bro? Big bro Luffy is Ace's little brother? Says Tama. Oh no. I was so harsh to Big Bro Luffy earlier. It's alright. If it really bothered him, he would have said something to you. <laughs> he would have said something back to you. Because Luffy has no picks. He don't care if you old, young, male, female. Like Luffy <laughs> won't be right at you. But more importantly, let's do it. The plan you laid out. Okay, so, um, I forgot. I think I was watching one of Brago's videos, and he um, said, I think it was him. They There's like a theory going around that Tama is going to give Ulti and Page One dongles and uh, her Kibi dongles and tame them. I personally hope they're strong enough to the point where it doesn't work and it only works on fodder. Um, I mean, but if it does work, at least it would give Nami and Usopp a way to combat them or get them to join their side and take down stronger enemies. Even though I kind of want to see Nami and Usopp and all the other Star Hats uh, win fights against the Flying Six and get stronger. So at least where they're like compatible to a, a legit Yon Yonko's crew. What? He was Roger's son? And Luffy's big brother? Is that really true? You were brought you were the ones who brought Luffy to Wano, weren't you? says Yamato. Indeed. There has there there are as many pirates as there are stars in the sky. And among all of them, somehow he was the one you met and brought to this country. I can't think of this as anything else but fate. I mean, even his name carries the initials of D. So, okay, because she has his journal. So I wonder if he knows what the D means. And it's funny how Ace wanted to take down Kaido. Like like Yamato said, and now Luffy's there to kind of take the mantle. Like, I get what you're doing, Oda. Luffy's carrying on the will of Ace. I would not be surprised if we've seen like a Gear 4 Snake Man version of the Red Hawk with the Ace silhouette. I would not be surprised. And this definitely confirms that I think Yamato's joining the Straw Hats after this. First tech. First, I'm sorry. First tactic. Crackle, crackle, crackle. So good. These flames are delicious. Burp. I'm stuffed too. Charging complete. Ha ha ha, mama, mama, mama. Is Straw Hat not here yet? Hey, Kaido. I don't know how many of them you kill, but make sure to leave Nico Robin alive. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So what I'm what I'm getting so hyped. Um it kinda seemed like after Ina's lobby, people have not been trying to capture Robin. She is the only person alive and that we know of right now who can read a Ponoglyph besides pudding, but her third eye has not opened. So Robin is the only one who can read the Pono Glyph. The fact that Mother Big Mom wants her in is huge. And this kind of goes back to when on Ina's lobby when they shot the flag down and he said, Do you know you're declaring war? And by having her on your crew, you're always going to be sought after because of who she is. So this is kind of dope. Like, I really like that they're bringing back, like, oh, shit. Like, Nico Robin is definitely an important character. Because Robin's been kind of coasting. Like, so this is good. Like, I thought your daughter from the Three Eye Tribe could read the ancient text. Oh, Pudding, I can't wait any longer for her true awakening. Where are you planning on dropping this island anyway? In the flower capital. There is still a castle that serves as a symbol for the Kazuki plan. Mama, mama, aren't they in the middle of the festival? Quite a lot are going to die. 
I don't care. It's easy enough to obtain more sleeves. Oh, okay. So, wow. <laughs> and he's drinking a look, 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 look. water, 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 water. And to make for a great capital for the new Onikashima. Is the road chronoglyph there? Isn't it too easy? Isn't it too early for you to be showing your true colors? So he's like, bitch, I know you're trying to betray me to get the pro pono glyph. Because I, I think they were trying to... I, well, it wasn't... I, I could be wrong, but I feel like each Yonko has a pro pono glyph. And Kaido is like, bitch, I know you're trying to get my pono glyph so you can get to the One Piece. Don't belittle me even now. I still think of you as a little brother. On that day in God's Valley... When the Rocks Pirates fell to ruin. I was the one who gave you your mythical type fish fish fruit. You owe me a lifelong debt, Kaido. Say whatever you want. We can settle all this after we acquire the One Piece. Okay, so... Kaido definitely has a dragon dragon food. If I'm not mistaken, that was confirmed. Mythical type fish fish fruit. For some weird reason, I'm thinking of Yamato. Has the fish fish mythical fish fish fruit. For some reason, I could be wrong. I probably am. I'm not a theorist. I'm just go ahead and throw that out. I'm not a theorist. I'm not that smart. Um, but for some weird reason, I'm thinking. Yamato has the mythical fish fish fruit. A word on Kaido's jet double fruit. There is a story known as the Dragon Gate Legend. In Chinese mythology, the story describes thousands of koi fish relentlessly streaming upward, upstream the Yellow River current. At the end of their journey, they encounter a massive waterfall. Most of the koi give up and let the river's current carry them away. If you persistent a, a few persist and carry on trying to reach the top of the waterfall after hundreds of years a single koi reaches the top the god recognizes this koi for its determination and bestows upon it a gift of transformation into a dragon because of its bravery the koi is also oftentimes associated with the samurai this could be kaido's devil fruit koi koi fruit there were hints about this throughout the story Oh, so Kaido might have it? He also lives on an island on top of a gigantic waterfall where the main yeah, method to enter is pulled in by a giant gigantic koi. All that is to say when read in Japanese and some... Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I don't know if that was... Um, within... I don't know if that part that I just read was within a chapter... But now they're trying to say Kaido might have a koi koi fruit. And how there were hints throughout the chapter. Um, that's actually kind of interesting. We also might have a clue now why he is the strongest in land, sea, and air. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. That's actually really kind of interesting. Um, be only like... Because how many times did they say Kaido was captured? They said he was captured a lot of times. And I mean, he could easily fly away. But he generates flame clouds. I don't know. Like, that's actually really interesting. I don't. I swear they said his fruit was the dragon dragon fruit. I could be wrong. But he might have the fish fish fruit. I mean, well, yeah, that's what Big Mom said. Mythical fish fish fruit. That's interesting. So the debt that Big Mom talked about is the devil fruit that she gave him and why he's going to forever be in her debt. Could you imagine Big Mom with that fruit? This is really interesting. This was a really, really, really good chapter. We got a lot of background. So Yamato was fighting on part with Ace because they came to a stalemate. Fate has brought Luffy, who is... Ace's brother back to Wano to carry on the dream of Ace. Um, this was a really, really, really good chapter. Really good chapter. Um, 
there's so much to think about. So much to think about. Kaido might have a fish fish root. Mythical fish fish root. Um, Yamato knows Luffy's Ace's little brother. And Tama now knows she has a plan for her, Nami, and Usopp. Uh, what else? A lot happened. Like, a lot happened. Um, but that's going to do it for this reaction. Um, really, really, really good chapter. I can't wait to see what chapter 1000 brings. Um, Oda's doing his thing with, with uh, One Piece as of late. Like, I had stopped reading it, and then I binge read it, and it was pretty good. Um, I did read the Black Clover chapter. I will not upload that video. I have to find somewhere else to um, read the chapter because those translations that I was reading are not good. Um, I was getting confused. <laughs> some time I had to read left to right. The others were right to left. Words didn't make sense. So I'm going to have to find another um, place to read the chapter. So I won't upload a reaction to Black Clover this week. But you know and you know spirit though <laughs> and now they're about to fight um Zeno. So yeah, I like I know what's going on. I just didn't do I'm not gonna upload the reaction. Um, but that's gonna do it for this video, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you enjoy the content. I will be doing since I didn't do my Thursday Thursday stream, I will be doing a stream today. Uh probably do another Fortnite for every kill I get take a shot. Um so be on the lookout for that. Um but yeah, it's your boy Will Games two one five.